Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony is rated M for Mature. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, and welcome back to more Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Last time around, we saw our port sweet girl die, and now we're playing as the guy. Been a little bit since I recorded. So we're gonna see where we were. Maybe we were here, yes. I honestly have kind of forgot a little bit. Just a little bit of where we were. <laughs> it's always, I, I've been trying to figure out for a little bit, trying to, um, oh, I remember. Trying to get my computer to work with me is, is, is not always an easy task. Like, I never know exactly what's gonna happen. Okay. Alright, so I have four devices. So I know where one goes. I need to go to the gym. I believe because we're, we're trying to find, we got four prizes and everyone's trusting us to put those prizes in. So Himiko, what you got girl? My magic is reacting. Your magic? There's something around here, there's no mistake. You mean the thing in the wall that I probably need to put one of the treasures into? Oh. Okay. <laughs> the wall came down. Is it because of my magic? Trying to just be able to cautious. By bringing the music up just a little bit. Oh no, I used an item on the subject and it was my magic. Okay, sure. You just, you keep believing that, honey. I think it was your magic. Oh, look at that. This is strawberry. This is Dora for this. This might be the ultimate research lab. For the look of it, I guess it's the ultimate magician's lab. So Himiko would really love it. Oh, it's Sugumi and Himiko. As I suspect, it's full of stuff related to magic tricks. Whose research lab is this? It's supposed to be mine, but where should be? But there should be magical items, right? Right. Why are you asking me? It's a very good question. All right, Sugimi. I think there's a room like this beyond that wall. I wonder why they went out of their way to hide it, though. Mew and Kaede's research labs were open from the start. That's right. I'm sorry. It's probably better not bring Kaede. He just did, huh? Oh no, it's fine. I'm okay. I uh, see. Well, really, if I just plain worried. I don't know how just yet, but like Kaede said, let's survive and escape this place no matter what. That's right. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna. See what I can. Oh my gosh, bird cage. Birds in it. This is a bird cage. Hey, Himiko, what kind of magic could you use for the cage for? Not a trick. I'm telling you, it's real magic. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot about that. I use that for the number of spells. It's also good for carrying my familiar. Familiar? Oh, you mean the trick where the dough comes out of your hat? Or you mean the magic animal? Yes, that's right. But my familiar isn't a dove, it's a tiger cub. A tiger cub? You must be so cute. I'm jealous of you being able to pet, pet something fluffy like that whenever. I admit, even I'm kind of jealous. <laughs> like a tire cub. It's like, sure, why not? Oh boy. Sword stabbing box. Mm. Mm hmm. What's this? <laughs> yeah, I must magic sure the person in the box. Stab my sword. It comes out fine. It's not a trick. It's one of the space type spells. Space type. Oh, that like, sounds like high ranking magic. Exactly. You need a lot of skills for space type spells. No average mage can handle them. Hmm. Oh, and so in other words, you couldn't just be a mage. You'd have to be a sage. You need words of wisdom for that. Sugumi is somehow able to follow all that. She's able to follow lots of things, but we're not always able to follow. Okay, there's a body sawing box. There's lots of things in her room that could easily kill someone. This is going to be used for magic too. I've seen her in a magic show. Okay, cauldron. <laughs> what is this? It's a cauldron. It's a huge cauldron, which looks like a witch would be stirring in a children's book. Don't go touch it whenever you want. That Paul bot is collecting mana. Mana? Don't you know it's necessary energy source for magic? Oh, I see. You mean like uh, ether, a life force? Mm, the names are different depending on the school of magic, but I call it mana. This place is filled with mana. It's perfect for me. That's so.
We got a saw. Okay. That's a huge saw. I mean, we can't be locked, so why don't we just have to worry about the tricks being stolen? So we didn't finish her sentence, but I knew what she wanted to say. It's not that I'm thinking the killings are going to happen again, but... Right. I can't... I f can really feel it now, just how bizarre the situation is. Yeah, it's like once the first one happens, it's much easier. Oh my gosh, there's a guillotine. <laughs> this is a guillotine, right? I don't know, it's just a magic trick, but it still kind of creeps me out. Yeah, me too. Ooh. Oh, there's a large water tank. Ooh. It's a huge water tank. I wonder if this is for a magic trick too. Possibly. Well, I've searched everything that's in this room. Can I beat anything up? Oh, I got some stuff. Yeah, take it all out. Beat up the birds. And saws and the paintings in the background. And we're gonna leave. All that. Oh, re oh, okay. Did I miss anything? Got the bird cage. Got the water tank. Did I not? Yeah, I realize that. Okay, I, I must not talk to these two enough. And eh, mixed up magic tricks and real magic. That's pretty thorough collection. It seems like there are labs for everyone, but why prepare so many? What is this place? Um, Monokuma said that this is the ultimate academy for gifts and juveniles. That made uh, for the 16 of us. Is that really true? Hey, the rooms and the dorms have locks, but this research lab doesn't. Okay. Uh, it looks like they're not private. Are you okay, the Himiko? Your magic tricks might get stolen. You need skills to perform magic tricks. Knowing how they work isn't enough. But I use real magic, not magic tricks. She's not going to budge an inch in that point. No, she won't. Alright, well, there's, there's the little cowl and a hat and whatnot. Do I need to talk to her again? I don't know how just yet, but. Oh, yeah. Can I leave now? Yes. <laughs> it's like, I would like to head out. Okay. Let's keep going forward. Um, not sure where to go. I think I'm, let's head up. Um, I don't think I'll tell you every single place that it could be, but you never know. I'm try trying to be like, okay, I remember, I think I need to go up to that dragon statue up top. Okay, let's go. What is this? Oh, school store. Well, let's, yeah, let's spend some stuff at the school store. Oh, <laughs> we can't just yet, okay, fine. Should be a mysterious object up here. Oh, hey, dude. How you doing? Ryoma, man. How you doing? You finally decided to raise your head. Huh? Up till yesterday, you were always walking around staring at your feet, right? Even when you had to look up, you used a hat to block out what you didn't want to see. Can't deny that. This world can be too big and bright for eyes that spent too long staring down. Be careful, don't your eyes see me. Yeah, you're right, thanks. Sorry for the unsolicited advice. Man, if he dies, I'm gonna cry, because, like, he's one of my favorite characters. Okay, Kokichi, how you doing, man? Oh, I knew you'd come to check this area! That dragon statue seems pretty sketchy. I mean, yeah. Gonta. Sushi, is there anything Gonta can do? Please say so. You're a blessing. Put this in his hand. Or in his eye. <laughs> okay. Part of the wall is gone. Whoa, it's so cool. We can get past this wall now then. Charge! Wait, charging in is dangerous. Kimmy, what's wrong? I think I feel stagnant air drifting for this damaged wall. As if no one has set foot beyond this point for quite some time. No one's been here for a long time, huh? How exactly, how long is a long time? Let's go ahead and point. 
I mean, everyone has their own depictions of what a long time really is. From the lock in this door, this must be the ultimate research lab. Alright, let's go inside. This room gives off an antique vibe. These are Victorian. These decorations adorn the British Empire at the peak of Queen Victoria's reign. This must be my research lab. During the Victorian era, employing a maid was considered a status symbol. Speaking of Victorian era, Jack the Ripper was from that time, correct? That correct. Ever the detective, I see. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're gonna have a third serial killer. The ultimate maid's lab. It doesn't seem pretty suited for Konami. Uh, oh, it does seem perfectly suited for Konami. My bad. Sorry. Okay, well, it's kind of creepy, honestly. We have the dining table. This is a doll of the dining table, perhaps a family diner? This is my research lab, then I presume these figures represent those I must serve. They're dead. I wonder if there's a bunch of maiden from this closet. Oh, lots of... Okay, instead of there are a bunch of laundry machines, vacuums, and pressure washers. These appliances will be most useful when I perform my cleaning. Huh? Cleaning? You mean the school? Kimmy, you don't have to do that. I do not mind. To sever others is a maid's duty. Selfless devotion is the principle by which I perform my responsibilities as a maid. I can cast aside my personal feelings for the sake of serving everyone. I suppose that's what makes you the ultimate maid. Most people wouldn't do that. Please let me know if you have a request. Given our situation, I will not. I will not take a momentary payment. Monetary payment. I will, I will do anything you ask. Anything that's kind of intimidating, you say it like that. <laughs> yeah, don't don't say anything. Please, nope. There's a door. Oh, that's the entrance door, so I probably cannot leave. Because probably... Uh. Well, we're going back. Because I want to talk to them. <laughs> I, I would like to say hello to the two people in the room. <laughs> I didn't think you would like me out. I thought maybe it was a different door or something. Hey man, how you doing? Mm, Victoria, and this room is quite tasteful. Hehehe, <laughs> I don't dislike gothic styles such as this. Uh, yeah, me too. This appears to be Karami's research lab. Being here brings a tale to my mind. Koriko closed his eyes and spoke as if in a trance. The era is 19th century a gentleman who pledged his loyalty to the queen and, and a modest but beautiful maid. The story of a love that blooms between the light and the darkness of social classes. Hey. That sounds like a lot, like a plot of a manga for girls. Is that so? Then are you saying I am a, like some young love struck girl? Uh, no. <laughs> That's how I am reflected in your eyes. Fascinating. I have no idea what you're supposed to mean. <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. He I confuses me from time to time. That's fine. Yes. In the Victorian era, many servants lived beneath the manners in which they were employed. They were known as downstairs people as a stark reminder of their lower station. Interesting. Get some Monokuma coins. She's gonna take out everything in your background. I take out the dolls and his hat and his face. And everything that's here. Yes. Okay, so the last two was an ocarina and a what? Oh, gosh. Okay. The yeah, interesting. So this seems like the only place, but like... Ultimate Maid Lab. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. There's um more to this down here. Oh, okay, so this is the upstairs portion. Alright, alright, alright. I'm getting here a little bit better. Oh, Angie! And people are like, what happened to the door? Sweet, you've been waiting for you. Hurry, hurry, we're all ready. Hurry for what? Oh, is this mine? Oh, this is a strange door. This might be the ultimate research lab. Oh, Gunta! Gunta, is this your research lab? Ah, oh, dude, is there bugs? 
Oh, that's depressing. Look at all those bugs! Insect specimen lying the entire wall. It was a very gross. Amazing. Amazing. The paradox. I suppose just keep my pin to myself for now. Yeah, that's smart. <laughs> that's smart. Don't just gentlemen, but you know, just kind of leave him be on his hobbies. There are a lot of books here. They all seem to be related to insects. Probably are. See, bug cage. Wow, he's running around with bug cages. Lots of larvae and eggs, but and they even sleeping in a cool place. Are they were they refrigerated? It's okay. Eggs are the hatch have gone to take good care of them. Well, then do your best then. Yeah, you got this, Gonta. There's a hatch. There's bugs all over the academy releasing those bugs in the new world. It's like a Bible story. Noah's Ark. If I remember correctly, the world was destroyed by a great flood, then humans and animals began. Perhaps it's a little too dramatic. No. They began repopulating the earth. <laughs> there are a ton of insect specimens on display. Wow. Pretty bugs shine brighter in sparkly rocks. Gonta understand the person who made these samples must love bugs. Each sample made with love and care. Putting love and care into bugs, well I suppose everyone's different. Yeah. It's like Gonta, I think that might be just you. Can I hit these bugs up here? Probably not. Well then Gonta, I will leave you to your room. Good luck, my main man. You got this. I'm gonna go search the academy for the last two thingies. Oh, there's a chest. Treasure chest. Um, what's a chest? Treasure chest? Ooh, I found a treasure chest. Why don't you open it, Suichi? Really? Should I open it? I have the treasure she's saying is you should open it, Suichi. You can sense that she thinks it's dangerous and she wants me to open it. Alright, fine. So I promise to constantly open the chest and... What is it, a flashlight? No, it can't just be a flashlight. Let me try turning it on. Hey. And unless you're dangerous, we should inspect it. Uh -huh. hmm. I'll be okay. Even the flashlight is saying, turn me on. Turn me on. Hurry up and turn me on. Shuichi, it's begging you. Then... If you're so eager, why don't you flip the switch, Angie? Well, then. then I'll meet you in the hallway and inspect this flashlight myself. And he's halfway. Meet me halfway, huh? Okay, once you understand, I'll come teach you. Bye, Anara. <laughs> I love Angie. In her con- she call I think she calls it to her, her conscience. But oh, wait, inspect it- how? I don't know, it's just Angie, just let her have it, man. It's really right. it's scary, but I'll try it. Okay. Have we been to the third floor? No, we have- oh! The ultimate, um... Ooh, research lab. Yeah! Ryoma! My man, you got your rackets! Wow, we can actually play like an actual court. Oh, Mew's here too! Of course, of course, impressive. That's cool. Pretty cool, man! Oops. Yeah, no, yeah. Shower room. There's a closet or something in the back. There's a shower room in the back. Shower room? Why don't you go always go and give each other a good scrub down? You all ready? The perfect height, Ryama. You'd be lined up for just. I love his face! Like, mm -mm. I was just kidding. I thought you'd laugh. No, you got much of a dirtier mind than he does. <laughs> he may be a criminal, but at least he's. Not... Uh, ooh, now this is an interesting machine. Interesting machine? You mean the one swinging the racket? With a few mods, baby, this bad boy will look real good. Yeah, my crate juices are flowing. <laughs> Big metal arm. Oh, yeah, I agree. Alright. Hole. See, Rayoma, what you have to say, man? Um, this is your lab, right, Rayoma? Must be nice having a whole tennis court here. Hmm, I don't care. I have nothing to do with tennis anymore. Nothing to do with tennis? Hey. Are you really not going to play tennis anymore? Tennis? Who the heck plays tennis with a Hawaii 20 sport like tennis? Ooh, you might rile up. Oh, that's right. I totally forgot you're a tennis player, aren't you? It's fine if you forget. That was a long time ago. So, when you killed the Mafia with your tennis skills, that was a long time ago, too? Wait. Hey, come on, Mew. What? It really happened, yeah? Yeah, it's true. Thanks to that, even if I escape from here, I'll just go straight to a different prison. 
So we need someone like me to play tennis now. And why are you staring at the tennis court with such sad eyes, Ryoma? Are you... Oh, boy. Look at that stare down. You're scaring me. Oh, you're being rude. Yeah, let's head out. Neat getting to find all these uh, all the research labs and whatnot. This is really cool, okay? I, saw, I, I was watching uh, Lukujin play this game too, and I found out from her that there are hidden Monokumas. Apparently I have missed all of them so far, but that's whatever. It's fine. Okay, I guess that's not ready or something. There's like a giant blue tarp. I hear like a buzz, like whoosh. Hello there, little Monokuma. Gotcha. All right, I got one. I don't know if I'll, how many I'll get. And honestly, I'm okay with not getting them all. Larger door. What is this? Looks like a dock door, but I see a painting of a door. It looks like a video game. I think it's called pixel art. I bet you this door will open at some point. Lab. Looks like a door. It's mentioned ultimate research lab. I have no idea what kind though. I should take a look inside. I the, as I reached my hand to the doorknob. I will. I did not give you permission. Oh, it's the, oh. Huh? Maki. So this is the ultimate child caregivers lab. You wouldn't think so just from the door. You're right. Goodbye. Ah. Well, wait, can I look inside for a bit? No. But but there's no rule against people going into each other's labs. I don't care about the rules. I'm not letting anyone inside. What's going on? Hey. hey, what's going on? You guys are in the middle of a tiff now, are you? See, thanks to you, an annoying brat has showed up. Because. You hear that, Shibichi? Annoying brat has showed up. All because of you. <laughs> yeah. So what's up? You don't want anyone to enter your lab, Maki? Don't be pushy, Shuichi. It's not good to know stuff that'll make a girl upset, you know. Uh, um, uh, he, yeah, okay. I understand. Then? Good. Then stay away. If you try to go inside, it'd be extremely painful. For you. <laughs> oh, man! Painful?! What is in there? I really want- to, She's blocking the door. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Do you have anything else to say on the matter, dude? This is kind of funny that you're here. It's not good to just yeah okay. But... Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Okay, let's go find somewhere else, I guess. Okay. Um. Front plaza. Okay, apparently I am allowed to enter that room. Let's go up here, I guess. I'm just teleporting around for a little bit, just make sure I got some things. Let's see, so this is has room B. What happens if I re-enter her room? Oh man, he won't enter. Okay. I I just wanted to see if he would or wouldn't. I mean if he didn't, that's that's fine. Um. Okay. Okay, let's go here. Right, let's go outside. Check some stuff out. There's probably some stuff out here. Probably, maybe, possibly. Hmm. Hmm, that's strange. There are a few plants around here. Some places are being renovated as well. Why is it under construction? I suppose. Well, I did say it is under construction. I suppose construction is still ongoing. But where exactly is this county built anyway? No one has come to say. This must be somewhere, a place remote. Well, where'd you build a complex all that large and secret? I don't know. I still say we're under the sea. You know. Under the sea. 
Okay, something tells me. Yep. I was right. The Ocarina is the only one. I do not know. I, I have no recollection of where it could be. Alright, Kaito, what do you think, man? Whoa, it opens so suddenly it freaked me out. But my hunter's right on the money. That junk was for opening this. Alright, let's go inside. I'm okay with that. Let's head on in. There's a casino and Kuma Kuma Sutra. You know what? I've always been about relaxing. Let's do some relaxation. I cannot go off the beaten path. Uh, $25, two guests, two hours until 12. Overnight, $45. Shift 1, 9 p.m. through 11 a.m. next day. Uh, shift 2 after 3 a.m. Guests stay until 2 p.m. the next day. Okay. I'm not sure I like the implication. Okay. But I guess it's for couples then? You know, the, the casino, uh, what's your face? And from DD1, she would have loved it. She was the ultimate gambler. I love the music. What is this place? Is this, is this like a casino? Why, hello, bear. This place is not like a casino. It is a casino. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this place is a casino. You can earn lots of mono coins and exchange them for fabulous prizes. <laughs> yep, yep, you sure can. That is a wonderful amateurist, Mama and Dan. You have a flavor not even father could match. Right. In a sense, you surpassed Daddy. Okay. Which makes you Grandpa, Mama and Dan. Grandpa, Mama and Dan. The one in the back didn't say anything. Casino? Why is a casino a place like this? Welcome, welcome! At a casino, you can use special casino coins to play various games. You can exchange mono coins the coins of the cashier. Once you exchange them, you can't get exchanged back, so you know what you're doing. So you'll able to see how many coins you have. The, the coins you saved up can be exchanged for fast prizes at the prize exchange counter. You're always getting new prizes, so look forward to that. There are games for you to try in the basement. Go ahead! Let's play! Well, that's what I'm doing. Let's play. Exchange counter. Um, let's do 20. Sure. Underground stairs, I guess? We got slots. We have Outlaw and Raw, Treasure Hunter, Monolith, Salmon Fishing. Mono mono slot, mono mono slot. Let's try salmon fishing. Looks like that salmon that he's beating up in the first game. It's, it's a game where you fish for salmon. Maybe I'll try this one. Would you like to play this game? Sure. Maybe I should have read the rules. I guess I'll bet 20? Sure. Okay. Good job, Bonakuma. Okay. There's another one. Blue. I'm looking for blue. Blue. And a green. There's a green. I am fishing. This is how you fish. Okay, eight salmon, nine salmon. How many do I need to get in total? Do not know. This isn't too hard, so it's not bad. Actually, it's pretty simple. Okay. Okay, that's a that's a green. That's a blue. That's a green. That's red. 
That's blue. None of them are blue. <laughs> there you go. Bam, I got 20. I got 21! Yeah. I think I did pretty well. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna leave. We're gonna try a different mini game. Dude, dude, I can't play this right now. Darn. I can come back to play. Outlaw run. Looks like I can't play this. Oh, really? Uh, what are you gonna do, Kaido? I, I I'm pointing at him, but okay. Hey, look, Shuichi. Kaido pointing at the treasure coins in front of him. Well, where would you get that mountain of coins? I had the jackpot. I got this much in just one coin. Oh, this is just one coin. It's incredible. It's a regular day for the luminary of the stars. My intuition usually leads me to victory. Hmm, nice work, Maverick. That sounds so uncanny look you got there. Whoa, don't, don't just jump out on me like that. My bad. I just learned here by your lucky streak. Nice haul you got there. You could cash in for those coins. Something really fun, did. What character is he playing? You're only good here, though. But if you earn more, you can reach the best treasure in this place. <laughs> After hearing that, there's no going back for me. But you can trade in what you already have right now. What are you saying? If I don't meet his challenge, I'm not a true man. Besides, there's no way my intuition as Luminary of the Stars can be wrong. That's it, Maverick. You dumb man. If Monokuma ever agrees with me, I feel like I've done something wrong. And thus began the sad tale of Kaido's downfall. Uh, not again. What's wrong, Maverick? You're down half your coins. Wouldn't it be best to walk away now? Just half. I'm gonna get everything back. Just you watch me. Got to insert one coin after another, but a win never came. This is called gambling. That's my last coin. This is why I'm gonna have my dramatic comeback. Just you watch. Got his last coin in the slot and the turn Stary pulled the lever. Right here! <laughs> Too bad the intuition was totally wrong, Kaido. Man, I'm glad I bet this casino watching suckers lose everything is hilarious. <laughs> Dang, I was set up. I've only had to stop while I was ahead. You, you do hear that from a lot of people who have gambled away everything. They think they can just win a little bit more and end up destroying themselves. Okay, I'm gonna quit gambling forever. You can bet on that. Well, that's typically what those people will say. Yeah. I'll do it once. Just to kind of see what it is. Sure. I'll bet. Oh boy. Place a bet. Okay. Start. I don't think I won. That's fine. <laughs> yes. I'm in a casino. I want to leave. <laughs> I wonder if Monokuma won't be very happy that I left. It's like, why did you leave? It's like, because it's a casino and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to win that much stuff here. This is really dark. Oh, interesting. So it's a spiral staircase going down. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, well, let's go this way then. Okay, what do you guys got? Tenko! I can't believe what happened in the dining hall earlier. Oh my gosh. I only dared ask you why you decided to remove your hat. There's something that I thought I kept private between you and Kaede. Thank you, Tenko. I also feel like I must carry on Kaede's wish. No matter what, we'll get out of here. I won't give up. Shuichi, don't ever conduct yourself in such a shameful manner ever again. Yeah, I won't. And she stopped calling you a degenerate. That's nice. I've had him receive earlier. I think we could use it on the stone monument. Can you try? Oh, did I really? The oak. Oh, that's funny. Oh, Greena. Uh -huh. Yeah, let's use it. It's kind of funny if we get to use it. We found all the places. Is why I like the two I knew. One, I guessed. And the third one, I had no idea. The vine suddenly withered. The eye withered in seconds. What a remarkable technology. We can get in. We can go in from there, right? You intend to go inside? The course of action seems dangerous. We can't, but, like... Rise and shine or shine. We got bears. No. no, 
it's not dangerous. There's just a pool in there. A pool? Okay. Yeah, as pool schools and pools are inseparable. 24 hour convenience stores and blonde hooligans are also inseparable. Wonderful explanation. Uh, uh, th thank you. Mm, I don't know why being praised by the guy who killed our bro makes you so happy. Yeah, I don't I don't think Mom and is gonna survive for very long. What should we do? There may be a pool, but we're we're not going for a swim, are we? But it's not dangerous. Maybe we should take a look. It's never too bad, too bad. Too much too information. Yes, I suppose you're right. Yeah, that's it. Hey, let's go check out the pool. Hmm, doesn't look like a normal school. Well, it looks more like a pool at a resort. There's that much water in it. Aren't pools usually filled up more? Whoa, what if you dream of swimming in a fancy pool with some big shot celebrity? Too bad I don't know how to swim. I suppose that just I suppose that dream is pretty far away. It's not necessary a dream of mine, but swimming with everyone does sound fun. If I tried to swim, I would just sink. And that one is even farther. <laughs> yeah, it's kinda sad. Alright, well, let's check out the pool, I guess. This doesn't look like a normal school pool, more like a pool at a resort. Kena might like this. There isn't that much water in it. Rule sign. There's some pool rules are supposed to get. There's one I find peculiar. So swimming is prohibited at nighttime. Rise and shine, or sign. Might drown, I guess. The bears are showing up everywhere. No, that's right. No one's allowed to swim during nighttime. It'd be terrible if someone died due to an unfortunate nighttime swimming accident. You, you need to use to die in the killing game. You can visit the pool at any night time, but even touching the waters is against the rules. Oh, I guess I'll add it to the existing regulations just in case. Okay. So anyway, why is the pool water level so low? It's barely enough to swim. What the hell are you saying? You got gaming holes instead of eyes or something? If there's enough water to swim, it only looks shallow because the pool is so deep. It's going to be more likely to drown if we build it up that way. And that's that. Put a lot of thought in some strange things. Wonderful explanation, everyone. Oh, well, really? I'm so happy to hear you say that. You forget you killed Mono Kid? You should hate his guts. Screw Mono Kid, I always hated him. Violent, vulgar, rude to shop clerks, and you had a soft spot for abandoned kitties. Why does it sound like praise near, near the end? Are you gonna say other? Okay, and I'll sing at nighttime. Uh, it's okay, I wasn't planning on swimming, but there are some specifications written on here. The pool is 82 feet in length and 39 feet wide. The pool size is 13 feet on each side, and, and to the left and to the right sides are 8 feet. Okay. Gym window. The window must be the gym's window. It looks like the one that was in the gym. I suppose that means the gym and the pool area are connected. It's pretty standard for a school to have a gym and pool area near each other. But I think the pool can be moved to a much larger area. There's plenty of land in the courtyard. What about there? I, I don't know. Kind of hard to move the entire pool. But, you know, if you want to do it, go for it. The large diving board. This is something you should find in a resort. Pool entrance. Storage room door. This looks like a storage room. I peeked inside and took all manner of pool supplies in there. Fully stocked with kickboards, water polo balls, and even sturdy rubber inner tubes. Perhaps I can float in water if I inflate them and attach them all over my body. I think that would look. I think you would look like the tire company's mascot. Probably. Well, let's talk to them and then head out. I guess. I wonder if the day will ever come when I can swim with everyone. Kibo, I was wondering. If you fell off the boat and sank to the bottom, would you be stuck living under the sea beneath a rock or in a pineapple? He is not Spongebob. No. no, I believe that before you go too deep, you buy a crush by pressure. Stop. Please don't say such scary things, both of you, or I'll never set foot on a boat. That's terrifying. I'll play it for another minute or two, just because I took a small break. If there's a fancy pool here, then there must be swimsuits here too. Are you positive? Yeah. Of course, there's no point in having this pool here otherwise. So I suppose that's true, but I swear swimsuits, I only saw extra school uniforms back in the dorm. That's true, even the closet seem to contain square uniforms. Mm. There ain't swimsuits, I supposed to be in the warehouse. How scandalous! They're in place that a degenerate meal has of access to. Uh, uh, I don't think that's a problem. Oh, I get it. 
Computer males can only care about used swimsuits or ones that girls are wearing, don't they? In that case, their swimsuits in the warehouse are definitely safe. I think you're thinking about this all wrong. You're so paranoid, jeez. I really want to know what happened to her. I, I wish I had such detailed answers to more important questions. Like... Um... Oh, there's one more school building window. The window must be one of the school buildings. I remember all the windows being sealed off, but the window in particular looks like a normal window. What room does it belong to? Anyone can peep through that window? Peep, who would do that? They go bonkers over the bloomers we wear. Yep. Yeah, I agree with him. Well, yeah, I mean, it's a robot, so, I mean, we always put him in the guys group, I guess, just because of his name, but, he's a robot. I suppose this is all for the pool area, that's the best good place to investigate. Yeah. Are there really new places for me to investigate? Yeah. Yahoo! Found you, Shuichi! When that thing popped up, uh, am I supposed to do something? Oh. I didn't know you were here. I've been looking for you everywhere. Hey, Angie, did you find anything by the flashlight? Uh, yep, I finally figured it out. It seems like a Atula wants us to gather in the gym for an explanation. Uh, you don't have time to relax now. Bye, Inara. If the Atula is going to explain it to us, I'm guessing she didn't figure it out. In case we should go to the gym. Okay. Well, next time around on Danganronpa, we will enter the school and go to the gym. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. It all really helps. And next time around, we will help Angie out with her flashlight and learn a bit more about where we are. Until then, see ya!